Good morning ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of The Studio. My name is Adam and today we're going to be talking about the Ivan Trevino IT13s from Malatech. Today's episode was a suggestion from a comment that I received from Azenpone360 which said, can you do a review on Malatek mallets? And I said, I don't have any, which is the truth. I don't actually own any until today. Well, not really, these don't belong to me. This is actually Jackson's mallets and I'm just borrowing them for the sake of this review. He's very kindly lent them to me. I have to say, I'm actually really liking them. <laughs> They're a lot of fun. So if you don't know Ivan Trevino, he graduated from Eastman School of Music. He's a composer, performer, really good marimbas. He works with Michael Barrett a lot because of the whole Eastman connection. And if you watch the video of his piece, Catching Shadows, which is a marimba duo for himself and Michael Barrett, Ivan is using the Ivan Trevino mallets from Malatech and Michael is using the Michael Barrett mallets from Malatech. So endorsements all around. <laughs> the Ivan Trevino mallets are in the go-to series of Malatech and that's supposed to mean that these are Ivan Trevino's go-to mallets and as that video demonstrates they are his go-to mallets. So let's start with the head. Ivan's mallets have a large head. This is a two-tone mallet so the head's yarn is very loosely wrapped around the core which means you can get any sound from a medium soft sound to almost on the side of medium hard and this big head design works really well for Ivan's pieces because a lot of them tend to be in the lower register to the middle register of the marimba so everywhere below C6 and this mallet works really well in those registers because it brings out the fundamentals it's very clear in the bass and it has a really nice warm tone in the middle it's not so good for high-end marimba stuff so if you're right at the top of the marimba but for pretty much 85% of the marimba this mallet sounds very good. Have a look at this sound test that I've prepared where I'm going to play it from the middle to the bottom to the top of the marimba and you'll hear the difference. So this mallet is really good for Ivan's pieces because it goes all the way from the low end all the way to the top of the middle end. It sounds good in all of those registers. So that's how the mallet sounds in individual registers. I'm going to show you now a piece that I've written myself called uh, Variations on a Theme by the Backstreet Boys, <laughs> which will demonstrate the mallet's versatility in both the low end and the middle. So in terms of ergonomics, Ivan Trevino's mallets are front heavy. They feel kind of weighted towards this end because of the big head and the shaft is very light. So it's a little bit imbalanced, but what that does is that it allows you to extract more power and more sound out of the marimba without trying too hard. And I wouldn't say it's as heavy as a dedicated bass mallet like this Malatech Concerto CN4, which is designed for the bass end of the marimba. This is a dedicated soft mallet. So this is definitely a lot heavier. And this one, you probably won't be able to play very quickly with. But with Ivan's mallet, you can have athleticism over the marimba 
without trying too hard, which I really love. Another thing I like about Ivan's mallets is the shafts. They're ultra smooth in typical Malatek style. They have this very coated finish and you can grip them because they have a slight texture, but they're not so textured that they will cut you or anything like that. And most importantly, this is a gripe I have with a lot of mallets. The bottom of the marimba mallet doesn't cut into your hands because we all know that when you're playing marimba, this tends to happen with your mallets. They tend to scratch against your hand, but this is not rough. It's been sanded, it's been bottomed out. Marimba mallet manufacturers, please make sure this is a thing on all mallets, okay? Nice, smooth bottoms. Please. But yeah, the Trevinos are a very comfortable mallet to use. Very easy to get that power and just very versatile. So what I'd recommend these mallets for are pieces like Ivan Trevino's pieces or Michael Burrett's pieces, those really groovy sort of groove based pieces, as well as pop music, like my variations on the theme by the Backstreet Boys. Oh man, I should stop calling it that. If you're doing any sort of pop music colors or just really like chordal based stuff, it works really well because it has that nice warm tone, but it's not so like warm that it's vague and hard to listen to. You can still hear the attack. You can still hear the fundamentals very clearly. I really like this mallet. I would not recommend these mallets for chorale applications. They're not soft enough for chorale applications. You want something like these concerto mallets. These are quite soft. I wouldn't recommend mixing these mallets with any other types of mallets. They work best when you have four of the same. This mallet might work for fast masterworks like Merlin and Khan variations, but I personally wouldn't use it for those things. So it's completely up to you. Ivan Trevino, you did a fantastic job with Malatek. These are really fun. I might get a pair for myself, but for now I have to give them back to Jackson. Sad. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this review video. If you liked it, please give me a thumbs up. Please remember to subscribe to this channel for more percussion content. I'm trying to upload weekly episodes of the studio. And if you want to see me review any other mallets, any other kind, let me know in the comments below. I'll try and get them for you because I have a lot of mallets to review. Seriously, I have so many. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time for another episode of the studio. Good night.